Hey there, it's me again. Um, so a week ago, I posted a video um, sharing about my experiences um, getting um, shoulder arthroscopy done for the rotator cuff tear. Um, and so I wanted to do a video um, to share with those of us in Malaysia specifically um, because um, I thought it was very useful um, that some of the videos I've watched um, from those who have um, done this surgery uh, in terms of the preparations and stuff like that um, so it helped a lot it helped me a lot and I just wanted to um, do that and so the second video is just um, to give a couple of extra tips um, about what you can do um, in preparation for the surgery um, so today is exactly two weeks post surgery and I got my um, stitches removed this morning and you can see um, in fact it's you can't you can hardly see anything um, so you know the the doctor told me before the surgery that um, um, there is a possibility I may need to get my tattoo touched up but it looks pretty clean and it looks good I don't think I'll need to do that and oh by the way say hi to Poppy behind me here <laughs> um, Anyways, um, so um, yeah, I'm still wearing the sling um, because um, it's advisable and the doctor did say eight weeks um, but um, you know, two days ago when I went to see him, um, he did say that uh, if I'm at home, you know, um, I can actually not need to use it just only when I go out but um to me, it's if I'm just walking around and all, I think it's best that, um, you know, I keep it on. Um, so anyway, um, so one other tip that I would like to share with you is um, in, um, so for bathing or your shower, um, I would recommend getting um, these uh, containers, bottles with the um the um the dispensers uh with the pump um something like that um it will be very useful and helpful when you are um taking a shower um you can feel your shampoos your uh body wash and all that in here um imagine using one hand it is uh, a lot easier doing that rather than having to open your um bottle covers and stuff like that with one hand yeah so yeah um you can use your um you know lotion empty bottles and all and just wash and refill it which is what i've done for mine um and um so there was this this one video that i watched um this guy talked about how he likes wearing um black shirts um and so what he did was he went out met up with a bunch of friends and you know and they came and they just slapped him on his shoulder hi and stuff like that and because he's um the brace that he's wearing was black and he's wearing black shirt so <laughs> not a good idea um, so it is recommended if you were to wear like lighter colors or colorful tops and all so that people can see you are wearing a sling so like in my case it's you know mine is dark blue and um, I'm actually wearing a normal basic sling um, so the doctor mentioned that um, I was gonna need to wear a brace um, it's 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 more um, support it's bigger slightly bulkier with paddings and stuff like that um, so um, thankfully mine was um, a, a small tear and so I only needed to use um, a normal basic sling um, but um, what I saw one of his patients the other day was wearing the brace and it was black in color 
And so I think it's good that if you have, if you are one of those who like to wear a lot of dark colors, it's best that you start wearing or getting some that are a bit light colored and not go out wearing your dark colors and your sling and people do not know that you're wearing one. So, so yeah. Um, so the other thing was, uh, that I would like to emphasize is, um, about using your, um, other hand, you know, um, when you've got your one hand in a sling and you don't get to use it. In my case, I'm right-handed and, you know, it's my right shoulder that is, um, torn and so, um, that's why, um, I was very scared, worried, um, before the surgery, um, because I would be handicapped, you know, I wouldn't be able to use my right hand because, um, all my life I've, I've basically been using that hand and now, you know, I won't be able to use it for weeks. And so that is why I was very, um, worried and, um, afraid before the surgery. Um, as I shared in my first video, I couldn't sleep the night before in the morning of the surgery, I was a wreck. Um, but I watched some of these videos and um, someone recommended practicing using your other hand um, and that was great advice. Um, I think I started practicing my left hand um, about two weeks, two to four weeks before my surgery and, um, and I sort of got kind of used to it you know i was able to to start using my left hand for like to brush my teeth to comb my hair to um you know open doors to basically everything um that i could think of um and it was very very helpful um i have to say that i am i've mastered brushing my teeth with my left hand <laughs> And that is great, you know. Um, it it helped me also, you know, be able to to um to gain the confidence and to feel better also because I don't feel so like um handicapped. Um, and um yeah um I've actually even um used a chopstick last night for dinner eating um kway teow soup with my left hand oh it was very very difficult um it's like i'm learning how to use a chopstick all over again uh, it was tough but um i think i did pretty well for for the first time um yeah so um handwriting still a little childish and like a kid's but i think um i'm getting there it's getting better um, although in this technological age, we hardly need to use our <laughs> hands to write anymore. So, but it did help. Um, and um, so, yeah, you know, um, if you know sooner, start practicing with the hand to do everything. You know, it's, it's very, very useful. Um, I um, also mentioned that it's... Um, it's good to have people around to help you do things and all that. Um, I do have a lot of people around me to help. Um, however, I am pretty independent and I don't like um, bothering people. Uh, it's not an excuse, um, but um, as a result, I, I actually did a lot of things on my own. Um, you know, I even... Um, did my own makeup, I made my own meals, I prepared my own sandwiches, I was able to use my left hand to cut tofu, veggies, um, I made my own noodles for my own lunch, um, my coffee, pretty much a whole lot of uh, things that I, I actually did on my own. Um, but of course, you know, there are certain things that um, I can't do um, if I were to have to carry too heavy stuff. I'm not allowed, especially not with my right hand. But other than that, you know, 
um, it's been great and um, yeah uh, I have been given um, the next two weeks to practice my uh, stretching uh, I'm supposed to be um, like lifting my hand like up uh, my right hand of course and so I have been doing um, my physio exercises to stretch it um, so one of the things that the doctor said uh, is that he does not want happening is um, in case I get a frozen shoulder you know you don't you don't move it for a while it, it just becomes like stiff and it will take a lot longer to to recover so that's why all the movements and all that um yeah um so another thing that would be very useful is to get your doctor's number if you can um you can ask for it um in my doctor's case, he he told me that he doesn't give his number to patients, but he gave me his email address. Um, and I have since sent him probably five or six emails asking me all sorts of questions from pain management to, to what I should do about sleeping and stuff like that. And he was very good about it. He, he was quite prompt in his responses and very helpful so it'd be good if you can um yeah get hold of your doctor to to ask any questions that you may have um post-surgery you know when you have been discharged from the hospital so that would be very good um and also it'd be great if you um run all these tips and and stuff you know what i've said here what other people have said that you should do run it by your doctor before the surgery you know, ask him or her whether you should be doing this, you know, because I've heard about that. And so get him or her to, to give you the okay. Um, yeah. And um, it might be helpful to buy an extra sling. Um, of course, you know, you need to wash it and all that. And so um, you, if you can get one from the pharmacy, I bought mine from um, Tika's pharmacy, um, it was 16 ringgit 50 cents it's pretty cheap uh, but mine is a basic one um, so if you are given a brace um, with a um, waist strap you should try to buy one look for one that is similar to that it does not necessarily have to be a uh, a brace that, that like what the hospital gave you but this is you know um, it's it's Basically, it's for the support. Um, so I've actually um, looked around the various pharmacies for, for one like that. Um, but so far, I haven't been able to find them. So if you know in advance, um, maybe you can search elsewhere and, and maybe order one from from somewhere, you know. Um, but yeah, it's still best to ask the doctor whether the 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 one which ones you might need to get so for me because um as i mentioned um you know my rotator cuff tear was a small one so i only needed to get the to use one um ordinary sling so if you um have a more serious um situation you may need to ask the doctor about that um so yeah um after two weeks i would say that my recovery has been progressing really well um i am experiencing a lot less pain um speaking of which you know do ask the doctor about that um i just got a batch of extra um pain management um, medication uh, acoxia that he gave me he said that because it was 90 milligrams you know it's safe to continue taking it so no issues there but I will try not to take it as often as possible although it's just once a day um, I normally take it at night so that I can sleep better um, so far the past two nights has been okay um, and 
yeah um i guess that's about it um so i went for a haircut <laughs> last week and um it helped <laughs> i guess you know when you are um have gone through um <laughs> surgery a tear in pain and stuff like that it it helped me you know um to do something for myself i learned how to make up using my left hand uh, and that was some accomplishment so that's great so anyway wish you all the best and um if you have any questions that you think i may be able to help answer so just feel free to put in the comments and i will try to help you and if you find this useful do share with your friends or you know anyone you know who might be having to go through this i hope this helped so bye for now